What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is literally, I think, two weeks after I posted that video. Um, well, the last video. And I'm actually back in SC now. And if you guys, most of you OG subscribers know, this is where I built my EK hatch and all my other builds. The T current TSX was built up in Irvine at the apartment. I've just been having a mental reset. I normally don't like talking about things like this on the camera, but I've just been out of it and I'm just, you know, just coming back. Um, but I've, I've still been grinding L2L parts, just been chilling, just like I said, mental reset um, and just taking it slow. But besides that, you guys know this car, this is my brother's four door that I did a case swap on. I actually picked this up not too long ago, like literally like last week, right when um, I think a day before I left because I bought this out. I bought this in Anaheim and the day before I, I was finishing my move down here, I ended up picking up a monkey. You guys don't know what a Honda monkey is? It's pretty much a Honda Grom. It shares the same motor, but it just has a different frame. The frame's all painted, it's exposed, and then it has the metal gas tank right here. And it's just more like a cafe racer. I actually bought this um slightly modified as in it had it came with the racing brothers uh front drop forks or not drop forks but is lowered um lowering forks and then came with the rear racing brothers uh chicane coils or shocks in me and you can adjust the dampening and also the rebound down here which is actually cool it actually adjusts and then it has a Katakosi uh, Moriwaki um, side cover. And then it came with Nemoto, or well, Grom Nemoto rear sets. Came with a intake. And it actually did come with a different exhaust. It came with a Vanson Heinz exhaust. Came with this guy. And if most of you guys know or owned a Grom or ever seen a Grom and seen that exhaust or the Brox exhaust, it is extremely loud so that's one of the reason why i switched it and also i wanted to be more fitting for like the cafe racer vibe and if you og subscribers or old subscribers see my honda grom my yellow one that i built with wheels stretch big board everything uh, i know the ins and out of these little bikes and they're just so fun a lot of my friends been getting them recently and a lot of people down here and saying i'll still ride them and that's one of the reason why i picked up another one because i knew i was coming back to sd yeah um and let's see what else oh it came with the Caposimo um what is it I forgot this is called damn I had it on my Grom too I'm having a having a brain fart it also did come with a G-Craft uh, what is it Fender like I forgot what the correct term is for this but it lowers the Fender so the original Fender is like around up here and it brings it down down here so it's just more flush the wheel looks better and it does come with these covers I think not too sure and then i just threw these on these are my zetting zeta racing uh, plugs that i already had off my other ground that I had extras or laying around and i need to what is it adjust the um, the rear sets i need to take off that little back piece because I, li I literally just put the exhaust on and it doesn't fit exactly i had to modify it just because this is a grom rear set it had a grom exhaust before but now it's a Grom rear set with a monkey exhaust. So the rear sets on the monkeys sit a little bit more forward. And yeah. But besides that, the main thing I've done to it is the new exhaust. This is a uh, cherry um, exhaust. That's what they call it. It looks exactly like the Yoshimura Straight Cyclone, which technically it is. But I bought this from Japan. Uh, I did a Kitaka clutch cover literally like two days ago. And it does have. Um, SMR 60% springs and SMR uh, clutch disc. So it does have a better clutch because I like that solid feel like another bike. And I actually threw in a TB cam. So that's in there now. And it does have a reflash. So a little more peppier than a factory Grom. Um, but, or factory monkey Grom. Factory Grom engine. But besides that, Here's my brother's case swap. I don't know when's the last time I've seen this, but since I'm back, kinder, um, I'll get to work on this more. But this does run 
fully drives, nothing's wrong with it, he just has to get it tuned still. But he does have, he picked up a Mugen uh, claw pack cover, catch can, and then these new Grady clamps are pretty sick. And then track tough intake, and then this right here, if you guys don't know, this is discontinued. This is a hybrid racing 70 millimeter throttle body. And he actually found this brand new in box. So I right when he showed me it, and it was a really good price. I was like, buy it. Don't don't cheap out or don't wait, buy it. Because these are really good. They don't stick and they're really hard to find because hybrid racing. Um, I talked to David and they say that they don't make them anymore just because the cost for them were too high and it just it wasn't worth making, if that makes sense. But and you got an Ultra Racing strut bar that you painted black. Uh, with the new regas with the spoon calipers now. And spoon lug nuts. Interior. This box. Mint. So he does have my old bad crack curriculum that works well hub. And he has of course the R6 case swap shifter and my carbon shifter plates. Now if you guys follow me on Instagram, I haven't really posted on YouTube, but I made EK carbon shifter plates. So they are live and they clear case swap shifters and they work with B and D shifters. Um, I'm not sure about H series, but it works with the hybrid racing shifters. I'm not sure about the K2 ones. But I made sure that I cleared this shifter and of course this B and D series and then some people that run fast line I think circuit hill with if you're running fast fast line shifter it will hit um, So I made sure just to widen it up a little bit so you can run a fast line shifter if you have one And then there's two Recaro SVGs and then Brand new uh, What is it? Momo steering wheel or a spoon steering wheel. I actually have a couple in here and then this is my brother's current steering wheel setup. A spoon one with my carbon horn delete plate. So if you guys want the EK shifter plate or the carbon horn delete plate or anything, check out lcoparts.com. Currently it's 5% off all the hybrid racing products. And there's a lot more that I'm adding to the store very, very soon. Just working with some companies right now. So stay tuned for that. And I actually appreciate all the support from everyone that's been making um, a purchase to my website. And just supporting me i really, really appreciate it. it actually gives me more things to do during the day and also just keeps me busy and motivated just to grind and you know just to have my own business because i mean everybody wants their own business and i've been riding this around well last week i did a like a six hour ride with some friends over at riders block a little fun to put around but oh and it does have a takigawa takigawa um side marker bracket i think that's what they call it so there's a lot of things on this bike, like as I was cleaning it up, and I had to do maintenance on this. I got this for cheap, but the chain was rusted, the tags were uh, expired, the guy didn't have the title, but all that. But this is a 2019, and I only had 1,400 miles when I got it. Fun little bike, and it's pretty quiet. I have the key, and the oh, the cool thing is too, these monkey keys they come like this. I do miss miss the Grom key because they have there's a switchblade where you just press and the key flips. But, you know, it is their own thing. I need to put like 15, 20 miles on it because I just reset the ECU because of the reflash. Um, the reflash is for uh, intake, exhaust, and a cam. And it makes a huge difference on these bikes. Yeah, not that loud, pretty quiet. I rev it, but I'm in the garage. Um, and then the t sex is here. So I need to rewrap the wing because it's actually peeling right here because I did two layers, one top, one bottom. Um, and I literally just like waxed this thing like two days ago. And I still need to put the RRC manifold in here. But the car looks the same. Not much. To use with the, you know. Yeah, just sitting in the shade because I'm probably kind of here. There's a lot of bird poop. There's a lot of birds that come around and poop. But yep, I'm back here, just figuring out what to do. Um, as in, like, I really do want to move back up. I'll be honest, like, 
I was in OCR for like two, two, yeah, two years. Um, so I left SD, moved up there for two years. And then now I'm back in SD. And the crazy thing is after living up in OC for two years, I've realized that San Diego doesn't have much to do. OC, I was living, I live right next to Irvine Spectrum. I was not in the middle, but I was like the bottom of OC. Everything's up there. There's so much things to do. And I do want to move back up as time comes. Way more things to do up there. Just everything's all around. All my friends, like I have friends up there too. But if I wanted to go to a shop or if I want to go anywhere that I need something right away, I could just go get it. Versus down here, I have to, if I want something up there, I have to drive like an hour plus just to get it. But I do actually go up there pretty often just to like hang out and just like pick up parts and stuff. But I'll be up there this Sunday just to uh, go to the Sunday Steel. And today is Wednesday, so I'm gonna go edit this video. And I do really want to keep pushing like YouTube as in like doing content like every other day. So I might just have like car content, monkey content, if anything. I've been doing stuff on the side. Um, I haven't really been recording it. I did record my yellow one, but not too many people like watched it, but I feel like I should be more open to just like posting whatever content I want to on YouTube. And that's one thing that I have a hard time like doing. Just like, you know, just upload whatever I want to upload. We're gonna do that and I'm gonna try to focus more to just in general like traveling. Um, just to get my mind off things and also just to kind of like explore because past two years or the past year I've been tra traveling a lot. I mean, I went to what? Uh, Canada, um, Oregon, like Tahoe, Vegas, I think like three times. Just a lot of places. That's it for this video. Just a quick update. Your boy is trying his best to keep content going. And if you guys haven't checked out my website, ltoparts.com, I have all of my shifter plates for EK, DC, EG, FK8, 9th gen now. Um, and still working on other stuff, but since this car is here now, this EK, my brother's EK, I can actually develop more stuff for the EK chassis, which is kind of nice. I haven't really figured out what yet, and also it has been extremely hot. If you guys live in Cali and seen the heat waves here, like, it's hot. The mornings is nice, and night's nice. It's just the whole day, like right now, it's actually really hot. But, yep, that's it guys. So don't stop, just keep building, and everyone that's having a hard time, keep your head up, and Keep grinding.